We're going to talk a little more about Apple right now because the tech giant beating top and bottom line expectations for its just completed quarter, giving a bit of insight into the current one. Julia Borston spoke to Apple CEO Tim Cook and joins us now with more. Good morning. Good morning, to you, Andrew. Well, Apple grew its revenue 11 percent to $123.9 billion. And every single one of Apple's segments beat expectations. It hit new records, with the sole exception of iPads. This is the first full quarter of sales of Apple's new iPhone 13, which drove strength in China in particular. I spoke with CEO Tim Cook. He told me, quote, the last two weeks of the quarter were the best two weeks for iPhone customer demand during the quarter. That's not odd because that is associated with gift giving, but it bodes well to the momentum. Cook also told me and said repeatedly on the earnings call that supply chain issues are set to improve from the December quarter to the March quarter. Take a listen. I think our supply chain actually uh, does does very good considering the shortages because it's it's a fast moving supply chain. The cycle times are very uh, short. Looking to Apple's March quarter, the company said they expect to achieve solid year over year growth and set a March quarter revenue record. But they also noted that their revenue growth rate would decelerate from the December quarter due to the timing of the iPhone launch last year, as well as foreign exchange headwinds. Andrew. So the question I'd ask is, what do you think the analysts are now going to say about Apple's quarter? I mean, we've heard some of them last night. There's some new reports out this morning. Yeah, the analyst reports are starting to come in. And overall, I would say, Andrew, a lot of relief that Apple has really managed to overcome those supply chain issues to have such strong numbers, particularly around the iPhone. There is a lot of commentary about that strength in China. And I think looking ahead to the March quarter, the fact that he did say so many times that those supply chain constraints are going to be moderated, some hope perhaps that we'll see other companies reflect that same improvement in those supply chain issues. And just also, Andrew, you just have to note how massive the install base is for this company. They noted that they have 785 million subscribers. So that is, of course, a record high, Andrew.